Welcome to part 14 of Circle Jump. This time around, we're going to spend some time fixing a couple of things that have gotten broken in previous steps. And we're going to start working on adding a little polish that we want to improve the quality of life a little bit before we call this game ready to release. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need to do is fix a couple of things that I broke last time when we added the bonus feature. Uh, a couple of things that changed were on the circle, we are counting the number of orbits differently now. And so the limited circles just stopped working because right here, if current orbits is less than zero, well, current orbits is counting how many times we've gone around. We're going to lose if it's greater than or equal to num orbits. Another thing we broke was on main when we were doing the level counting, right? We'd go up a level. That was based on score, but now our score is jumping super high because of the bonus. So our level can't be based on comparing our score to the number of circles per level. We need to count how many circles we're touching as well as the score. So we're going to add another variable here for that. So num circles and then down here when we when we start a new level we need to set num circles to zero and then whenever we get some points here we're also going to when we get captured we're going to increase num circles and then this is where we're going to compare for this level. So I'm going to take this code and I'm going to move it from the set score function and put it here. And this is going to be if num circles is greater than zero and num circles compared with the settings. Then we'll go up a level, show the level message. On our HUD, we have the problem that the animation player can't play the bonus animation, for example, right, where we flash the bonus, and the message at the same time, because they were on the same animation player, right, the show message. And so I've split these up into multiple animations. And this was really easy to do. If you have an animation player, like say this one, and you wanted to copy this, you can actually copy the animation, go to another animation player, and, and choose Paste. And it'll shift right over there. And so I've made a bonus, a score, and a message animation so that they can operate separately. Uh, the score one is just, I copied it from the bonus one. So we can pulse the score when they get points. But I also want to do something else where, since you're getting bonus points now, your score can be jumping from you know, 50 to 75 or something like that. And rather than just changing the number, I want to show it rolling upwards. And I want to see the numbers flickering as it rises to the new score. So that's what we're going to add next. And we're going to do that with this tween node. And so in the HUD script, I'm adding a score variable. This is to track what the current score is so we can interpolate it between the current value and the new value. And so I've changed the update score. So instead of just updating the text, what we're going to do is we're going to interpolate that score property between what it is now and what the new value is coming in, which means we have to pass in the current score and then the uh, new value. So that's over in our main. We've got to update that whenever we call HUD update score. We have to update with what the score is and what we're changing it to. So we're going to say score comma zero there because we're going from zero to zero basically. But down here, when we get points, we're going to take that and we're going to do it before we've set the new value. And we'll pass both like that. So now back on our HUD script, we are interpolating those two values, start, this, start the tween, and then we'll play that score animation where we flash the red and the size increase. 
but then we've also connected the tween step signal, which goes off every step that the tween travels, and that's going to pass in that value that it's on. And so we're going to set the score text to that value. And then we'll see all the intermediate values between the points when we score, which is especially when we are operating with a high bonus, going to be a lot. So let's try it out here. We've got to get a few jumps going before we get some points, but you can see the ticker going up there when it's adding points to me. Okay, so that's going to do it for this relatively short part. It's just a little bit more polish that we're putting on as we get closer to being finished and ready to release this app out to the wild. I hope you're enjoying it, and I'll see you in the next video. This tutorial is part of my new Godot Recipes website. The goal is to collect all the best tips and lessons to help make you a better Godot developer. If you like this video, I hope you'll go and check out the site. And make sure to hit subscribe so you'll be notified whenever I release new videos. Thanks for watching.